there, boys and girls, sports fans. <laughs> We're back. Anyway, thanks for uh, sticking around. I know it's been, <clears throat> I promised a couple of weeks off. It's been a couple of more than a couple of weeks off, but uh, life gets in the way, especially when you've been living away from your family for a year. So I'm back. I'm home with the family, and I'm looking forward to uh, having a lot of things, spend some good quality time with the kiddos. And now that I got a minute to myself, I figure uh, let's uh, review another beer, shall we? So, sticking to the beautiful Pacific Northwest and adjacent, the region I'm in, today's victim is the Alaskan Smash Galaxy. Whoa! Is that some sort of Thanos thing? No. Beer nerd term coming at you. That turns out to be Smash stands for single malt, single hop. The A doesn't stand for anything. It's like those of you old enough to remember the TV show Chips, just the I, so it spelled something. So what does that mean? They use a malt, in this case, a Pacific Northwest Pilsner malt, and a single hop, in this case, drum roll, Galaxy. So sometimes they just do that to get a, to get a good uh, experiment so that a brewer can just see what one hop does or what one malt does. And sometimes they do it and they just get a really good beer. And I think that's what we're looking at here. So typical Alaskan brewing, so their standard bottle, cool northern lights on there, digging on that. And otherwise, uh, let's see, 86 IBUs and 8.5% ABV. So I went a little backwards there. So this is a big beer, this is a double IPA, so we like double IPAs. Um, cool packaging, they still do bottles, you know, more rugged traditionalists than maybe some of the other guys, but uh, you know, it's all good. So uh, enough yakking, let's get to glassing. Cool 50 or uh, giant big 50 cal round for a bottle opener. I got that from a friend. Really appreciate. And we pour. After all that practice, you'd think I'd get better at it. <clears throat> anyway, awesome. So, wow. Yeah. Totally what we'd expect. So Pilsner malt, Pilsner as in Pilsner beer, that very light lager kind of beer. So you'd expect to get a really light color. This is a light pale straw color with about uh, one and a half, two fingers, depending on how big your fingers are, of creamy white head. Nice tight bubbles. It's gonna aroma on this guy. Yeah, very, uh... so Galaxy Hop, as you read the description, is known to have on aroma, very tropical fruit kind of notes, but then there's a pretty strong underlying bitterness punch. This one is, not Galaxy is an Australian hop, and uh, we have it here, and Alaskan's using it. Cool. Oh, if I didn't mention it, cheers. So a strong, strong uh, aroma, nice tropical fruit, a little bit of malt, very, not very strong on the malt on the nose, but now we'll get into it. Cheers. Screwed that up. I'm a little out of practice. You'll have to forgive me. Oh yeah. So right off the bat, <clears throat> very nice, light, crisp body, which comes from that malt. So not as bready as maybe you'd get from some other beers. Very, very crisp, very refreshing. But then tropical fruit, like passion fruit, guava, all that kind of good tropical, you know, on a beach in the Bahamas kind of fruit, and then right away bitterness, like right afterwards on the finish, bitterness. And then a good long, a good long finish. Nice mouthfeel, very crisp, nice bitterness, nice tropical fruit aroma. As it warms up in the glass, you're definitely getting some uh, more of the tr the tropical nose, that kind of citrusy fruitiness. It's a it's a it's a complex hop because like it has a lot of bitter. If this is truly only a single hop beer, I'm impressed because it's pretty bitter. And usually, not always, but usually hops that are that bitter tend not to have that much aroma. And this one has a really cool kind of fruity, juicy kind of aroma, which I dig. So what's the world say? Well. If we take a look at untapped, they're gonna have this one at about 3.7 or so out of five with about 15,000 reviews. So that means you can get it. It's listed as one of Alaskan's kind of year-round beers, but obviously with 15,000 reviews, Alaskan's a pretty big brewery, at least on the West Coast. 
not as common as you might think, but really tasty. So what do I think about it? I think this is, I've got to recalibrate myself, carry the three. This is an eight out of 10 beer for me. I dig it, I like it, and I hope you do too. So, since uh, all of you out there have hung in there, I really appreciate it. Just remember, if you like this, you wanna keep us going again, keep the channel going, please smash that like button if you'd like the reviews. If you don't, push it twice. Kidding. Anyway, um, so yeah. We're back. Um, subscribe if you want to see, uh, ring the bell if you want to get notified, just downstairs there. We'll let you know what's going on. And uh, this one, uh, Alaskan Brewing, really cool. Oh, by the way, I got a, a, a pyrep, if to use an aviation term, from a friend who went up to visit the Alaskan Brewing Company in Juneau. So if you find your way up there, definitely make it a stop. You know, if you're on a cruise or you're just up in Juneau, because you're up in Juneau, make it a chance to stop it. They said it was really cool out there. So really something to check out. But this, is the Smash Galaxy, eight out of 10 beer. Really dig it, check it out. All kinds of single hop and single malt goodness. Until next time, beer nerds of the world unite. Keep looking for the good stuff. Cheers. Yeah.